Hi everybody and welcome to a Geometry CUDA worksheet tutorial. We're doing the mid-segment of a triangle. So what is a mid-segment of a triangle? It's exactly as it sounds. If we have a side of a triangle, so if we have like this one, CD, the midpoint would be this one, okay? And then we have to have another side, so let's go DE, and then another midpoint. A mid-segment connects two midpoints. Okay, so that's why it's called a mid-segment. Now there's special properties about a mid-segment. Uh, one of the properties is that it's parallel to the long side of the triangle. So it is parallel to this green side right here. So, oh man, I just missed it. Let me redraw that. Okay, there we go. I think I just missed it again, whatever. It's snapping into place there, that's where it wants to be. So it's parallel there. And the other property, as it, as the name suggests, is it's half the length of this guy. So this side, if it's a length of one, that would be one half, it's double. The green is double the purple, or the purple is half the green, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and jump into a couple of these problems. We'll start with number one. Now, with any of these problems, I'm gonna erase this real quick. If you wanna copy it down, too late. So as with all these problems, the first thing we want to do is identify. So we need to identify the segments we're talking about. So CD we have as this side right here. We need to find what it's parallel to. Well, it's going to be parallel to a mid-segment. Where is that mid-segment? Well, it's very obvious that it is there. What is the name of that mid-segment? It is PN. Now, before we can make that assumption, we have to know that they're midpoints, and it's saying that they are midpoints of the sides. Okay, so number two, equally easy. We're looking for QS, and we want something parallel to that. So that is going to be NM, and there we go. So we have, this is going to be parallel to NM. Make sure you put the segment uh, designation on top of NM to show that it's the segment. Okay, now we're going into lengths. It's a little bit more nuanced. So we first start with identifying where the segment is, and that's CD. How do we know it is a mid-segment? We know because it's showing that it's splitting these sides in half. This is of equal length, this is of equal length, therefore, that is a midpoint. Therefore, both sides are midpoints, so it is a mid-segment. Well, if it's a mid-segment, then that means it's going to be half the length of the long side that is parallel to. So it's parallel to this 16 side, so it's gonna be half of that, it's gonna be eight. Another way to write this out is you can say the mid-segment, we'll say, uh, we'll just write mid-segment uh, is equal to one half, and we write uh, the long side. So we can say the side, okay? So we one half a side, or if we solve uh, for the side, we can say the mid-segment times two, two times the mid-segment, equals the side okay with this in mind let's go ahead and just use the second one for this problem okay so we're gonna use the second one two times the mid segment we didn't know what that was originally so we could call it x two times x equals 16 we solve for x by dividing by two and we get x equals eight obviously half of 16 is eight but i just wanted to show you just in case it gets a little bit more complicated down the road Maybe put a box around this, write this in your notebook if you people even use notebooks these days. I'm, I'm using Notability myself, so I can't really talk, but all right, find AC. So here we have AC, we're gonna identify it. Okay, this time it's not a mid-segment. This time the side it's parallel to, the segment it's parallel to is the mid-segment. So what do we do? Well, we could go back to our formula if you really want. Okay, and let's go ahead and write that. So our mid-segment we know is four times two, I'm going off of this in case you're not following what I'm doing picking up when I'm laying down, and that's gonna be equal to my side, okay? And that's what we're looking for. So clearly it's gonna be eight, we just double it, okay? So eight, and I like to write units. So I should've wrote units over here also. So I write units, okay. I'm gonna do these next ones quick so I can get to the algebra portion. So we're trying to find KJ, it's gonna be half that nine. We're trying to find IK, it's gonna be double that, it's gonna be 10. Why is that? Because we're, we're finding uh, that these are mid-segments here, so they're half the longer side. Okay, now we're on to DF. DF is gonna be double that, so it's gonna be 18, okay? And now we got something a little bit more complicated. Let's see, we are looking for PQ. 
Okay, well, it's just trying to give us more information. We don't need that because that's not the side parallel to it. We're looking for this right here. So it's gonna be half of this guy times one half. So it's gonna be 15 units. Okay, moving on to the second page. This is what we really, this is why you came, I'm guessing, to this particular video, hoping at least. Maybe your teacher's forcing you to. <laughs> Anyway, so we have that this segment right here, this is our mid segment, and this is going to be our long side. Okay, so we know x plus 9 equals double that side, 2 times, and we're going to put this in parentheses, 2 times, uh, sorry, 2x minus 3. Just as a refresher, it's 2 times the mid, mid segment equals our side. Okay, and that's what we're just plugging in here. So I'm gonna use green to solve. We're gonna to distribute to both. We get 4x minus six equals x plus nine. We're gonna have x on both sides. This is some good algebra practice here. We subtract x from both sides. We get three x. Always start with your variables first. When it's on both sides, start with your variables first and move the smaller. That's my advice. Minus six equals nine. Add six. Okay, and we get 15 equals three x. So we divide by three, divide by three. You know, I'm not even sure what we're trying to find right now. I just know I need to solve for x. Okay, solve for x, there we go. <laughs> so here we have the same situation. It's gonna be the same old song for all of these. Okay, and once you do one, you've kind of done them all. But this is good practice. So two times x plus 19 is gonna be equal to x plus 29. Okay, and this is just algebra practice now. So we're gonna do multiply. We get 2x plus 38 equals x plus 29. It looks like we're gonna get uh, some negatives here. We're gonna subtract x from both sides first. x plus 38 equals 29. Subtract 38 from both sides, and it looks like we're gonna get x equals negative nine. Okay, so there we go. Uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and skip these two just because it's the same thing. It's going to get boring if I keep doing the same thing. Okay, you're just going to say uh, this guy times 2 equals that guy. This guy times 2 equals that guy. Okay, you get it? All right. Let's move on to these ones because it's asking to find the actual length. It's just a little bit, just one more step that's involved. So we'll start We'll start with the last one just because it might be tougher. So this guy is our mid-segment, Okay. It's makes sense because of this. Make sure you identify these. I'm going to be rushing through these, but identify that it is in fact a mid segment, and this is our side. So we're going to say x plus 21 equals, and then we have two times x plus 15. Okay, we're going to use our green to solve. So we have two x plus 30 equals x plus 21. We're going to subtract x from both sides. This is keeping it nice and easy for you. Plus 30 equals 21. We're going to subtract 30 from both sides. Yada, yada, yada. We get x equals negative 9. Again, do not circle this. This is not your answer because it's asking for vw. vw is this mid-segment. So we just need to plug this in here and then solve. So this is going to be negative 9 plus 15. What do you know? We get 6 units. You're not going to get any negatives in this section because it has to be talking about a length. Okay, so just keep that in mind. But this is how you do it. I want to keep this video shorter so you're more enticed to click on it. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out some of my other videos, and I look forward to seeing you next time on West Explains Best.